Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to our first ever Chi Virtual Show, and we're here. My name is Rob Diaz. This is my man, Roderick. Uh, we're here with Chi Man. Uh, 2020 has been a crazy year, but it cannot stop a visionary. And we're right here to show you uh, a little bit of what we have to offer. 2020 will not stop us. We got the Chi Man line coming out. I got my man, Roderick, right here. Talk to him, brother. Tell him what's on your mind. Hey, my name is Roger Brown. I'm here with T-Man, and I'm excited to be here. I'm so happy to be here today we're doing this virtual show with you guys. We're going to be using the T-Man products. We're going, to use, we're going to be using it on textured hair. We're going to be using it on straight hair. We can use these products on any hair type, and we're going to show you that today using the products and the Red Deer Clippers. Y'all get ready for this. It's about to be, get, get exciting. Yeah, speaking of, speaking of exciting, this is, what, uh, this is what we're here for, to show you a little bit of what we're doing, you know, two totally different styles, right, Roger? Two yes, totally different looks, um, but it's gonna be everything you need for, for every look, cutting edge style. And again, remember, we're talking about being a visionary. So these are, these are looks that you might not see in your everyday barbershop or everyday Absolutely. salon, but you know what? These are gonna be the, the, some of the looks that are trending for 2020. I mean, look, twist, that beard, the, the taper fade. You know, we got a little bit of a mullet going on right here. Uh, we're gonna be talking about placement yeah. or fade placement. You know, we, we, we put in some work with the Red Deer Clippers uh, and trimmers. Uh, I know you see, me, you see me flipping it around. This is super easy to handle, lightweight, uh, and German stainless steel blades. So this is something you definitely want to add to your arsenal. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of beard work right now. We're, we're doing some trimming, just kind of doing some finishing touches uh, on, on this cut. We're going to be talking about a little texture, some texture techniques that you can use uh, for different types of hair to achieve different types of texture in the hair. Uh, we did several different techniques. We're gonna be talking about that today. But Roderick, I see, I see you got the Red Deer Clippers in your hand, man. Uh, break it down for him. Yeah, man, so check it out. Now with the Red Deer, I met today, this is what you would call a level four texture. His hair is super, super curly. Got a lot of texture with it, stiff movements, but I want it to be movable and flexible at the same time. So if you saw me start out, I started out with my low maintenance, with my low maintenance spray. And what this does, this is gonna keep his hair under control as I comb it. And as I comb it, as I cut it at the same time, the hair stays in place at the same time when I cut and when I comb. And that's why I use that particular spray for this particular texture type, okay? Now, as I turn my Red Deer Clipper on, I have two speeds, one and two. They're clearly visible on the clipper, all right? Now, I'm using two because I'm professional. But if you're not a professional, you can go down to the one speed. It's gonna slow down the blade, and it makes it easier for you to see your fade as you work, as you work. Now, I'm turning my clipper to the side because with this clipper, it has a 360 degree turn. It's a swivel cord. And that allows me to be able to move my clipper as I need to for any texture type, okay? So as I do that, I'm turning my clipper into a thinning shear, which allows me to fade and keep my fade at the same level at the same time as I move my clipper. And it's so lightweight, it's so lightweight. If you're bothered with copper tone or you may have arthritis, anything like that, these clippers are the clipper for you. I love these clippers. I love them, I love them, I love them. And you're gonna see just in a minute, how, how nice and precise this fade is gonna look using this technique with this Red Deer Clipper. Go ahead, Rob. Yeah, and I popped on, uh, I'm doing kind of similar. So I popped on one of my guards uh, right here. This is gonna be our one and a half guard, right? It's gonna be comparable to a, to a half guard uh, in, in uh, traditional terms. They slide on, these are carbon, comb uh, uh, carbon guards which are like your carbon combs so they don't attract hair like if you see I, I've done a little bit of cutting with it but it's not going to keep the hair stuck onto the comb attachment and so here it's going to be easy to use I know right now we're talking about a lot of sanitation we're talking about staying clean uh, what's going on in the barbershops now and in the salons because of COVID but like I said, we're not, we're not stopping, we're not quitting. If anything, I tell people all the time, the barbershop, because of the products we use, hospital grade disinfectants, that's one of the safest places to be. Uh, if you're doing it correctly, 
if you're sanitizing after each and every client, if you're sanitizing your tools, which you already should be, it's an easy transition. Now, of course, there's a lot of things that go, go on, but uh, having tools and products that, that work with, along with that sanitation, uh, and a lot of those measures just makes a smooth transition. So what we did is pop on the half guard here. I turned it on, and they, they, they might look a little different. They might uh, look like, wow, what is that? What does it do? It's gonna come in and, and achieve some seamless blending because that's all we're doing in a transition. What we originally started with was our trimmer, and we went straight across because we're going for more of a mullet look, right? Mullet with a textured crop uh, on top. And so we went straight across, bald, uh, uh, took this out, made it bald all the way through. And then with our lever, we came in. So uh, right now we're just going to do a little bit of touch up. You know, a lot of people are always looking for, hey, how do I do the right fade? Where should I place the fade? How high should the taper be or the fade? It's really a preference. We're gonna be looking at a lot of people's uh, head shape. We're gonna be looking at, you know, we're, remember, we're cutting on a round surface. So these things are gonna be important when we're uh, dec deciding where the placement should be uh, for our taper. On this particular cut, we went a little higher because like I said, we wanna go with the mullet look. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna close my clipper, turn it on to the one setting, because like Roderick said, the one setting, the blade is gonna uh, move a little slower, so you're gonna be able to actually see what the clipper is doing for this detail work when we're touching up, right? So just in here, a little bit on the corner, uh, when you place it flat and go up, if you do that, you're gonna raise your fade. I'm not trying to raise my fade, what, I am, what I'm doing is taking out some of these dark spots. Uh, so that we can refine what's already in here. Speaking of refining, I see Roderick over there, shear work uh, oh, man, these at 100, huh? Yeah, man, these my cheap scissors, man. <laughs> my shears, man, you gotta use them. You gotta use them, man, because different textures sometimes they call for different things. And you got to be ready. You got different to be ready. Different strokes for different folks, huh? And I'm telling you, two man got it. <laughs> two man got it. We have different textures, different products for every texture of hair. We have different tools that that, that's available that we can use on any type, any haircut, we can do anything. So what I'm doing right now, I'm taking my cheese shears and I'm cleaning up, I'm cleaning up this faded area and I want you guys to see it. Cleaning up this faded area that I've used my, our red deer shears on. See this fade? Now if you look at my canvas, the contouring of his head determines where I place my fade. This is the temple area, so I don't want my fade to go above the temple area. I want to blend it out real nice. And if you saw how I use my red deer clipper, I turn them at a 45 degree angle to achieve that. And it's easy to do that because of my swivel cord. It's like having a corded cordless clipper all in one. I know you've probably never heard that, corded cordless. It's so light, it's so moving, it's, man, it's, it's yeah. fun to use. Consistent power and the, the versatility, versatility of being like a workhorse to be you, able to cut through. You know through. it, it's, it's German engineered. It's like having a small BMW in your hand, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I like to joke around, but, but I'm just saying that the, the German engineering behind this clipper, man, it's exceptional. It's exceptional, guys. Now, after doing that, doing my cut, I like to switch up my products. Now on him, this is palm in hand. And I use the palm in hand because it's light. It has a nice little shine to it. And I like to use it, I'm gonna mostly it in my hands. And I like to create with it. I create a texture look for him, right? And with this look, I can get different variations of this look. Now like this, he's fresh and swagged out, right? Now with this same look, I can take this guy and put a, put a tie on him with some glasses, change the whole look. He's ready to go to work. He's ready to be in the office with this same look. And these products is gonna keep him intact, keep him flow, and ready to go. You like that, Rob? Oh yeah, man. Keep that, him in flow yeah, and ready to go? Freestyle king over here, man. He's, He's, uh, man. he's not only got jokes, but he can rhyme too, right? You know? So here's the thing. When, when we're coming in, we're using a lot of these products, and uh, you might say, well, well what, what about me? What, what works for me? That's the, that's the beauty of the Chi Man line. We have products that have 
uh, different holds and different shines that are going to work for you and your lifestyle. When you're, when you're, whether you're a, a stylist or uh, you're somebody at home watching this, um, you're going to be able to look. So right here we have our Texture Me Back Cream. It's going to tell you right on the bottle, medium hold, medium shine. So no matter what you're looking for, if you're looking for a matte finish and a hard hold, or you're looking for uh, some different type of, of shine, you like it, you know, something with a heavy shine, then we have the products for you, and they're gonna be able to work with the hair. I get a lot of people in the shop all the time, and they say, hey, how do I get the, the same style you have, or, or you know, the way I look when I walk out of the barbershop, how do I get that? To, to get and have what I have, you gotta use what I use. And so what I use is Chi Man in the shop. We'll come in and uh, specifically for, for Hosanna here, this is my model. Like I said, we're going with, with the mullet. Right now we took the beard down just a little bit, just to fade it in and get it nice and smooth so that on the sides it doesn't puff out in this area. Uh, think of it like a, like a taper right here. It's a, it's a smooth transition from uh, or, or graduation. Uh, and that's what we're doing on the beard as well. So as we, as we turn them around, we're gonna be, we're gonna be uh, having a little bit more of a something fun back here. Like I said, when, when they told us visionary, I was thinking outside of the box. I wanted to make sure that this wasn't something that you're gonna see every day because uh, Cheap Man is not an everyday product. It's, it's, a, it's, it's not your you know, one and done, here we go and that's it. Right. This, is, this, is, this is here for keeps and that's what being a visionary is all about. So with that being said, Let's, uh, let's work on putting some of these products because we're going to style a little bit here. And what I want to use right now is one of the things that has really uh, been a game changer for us. Uh, this is going to be our texture spray. So when you look at it, it's going to be our low maintenance texture spray. It's going to have a light hold and a matte finish. So that's going to work right alongside any uh, type of styling aid. So if I, if I want to add a second one to give it a stronger hold, uh, because remember, it's going to have a light hold. I can put it on there and it won't uh, affect the shine at all. If I want it to be a matte finish, because I am going to come through and use a clay here in a second. We're going to see yeah. that. Uh, but it's also going to be great for, for this area. We're going to come in and I, I told him if his hair was a little longer, I was going to do a ducktail. But since it's not, we're going <laughs> to we're going to do something crazy back here. I remember back in high school, Roger, everybody, you know, yeah, was walking man. around with little ducktails in the back. And I, I yeah. said, hey, if we're going to bring back the mullet, why don't we bring back the ducktail? Bring you know it what back. I mean? Visionary. You, you, you see it and you go with it and you you uh, change the game because you're willing to step out of the box. Right. So yeah. with this, you're going to shake up the texture spray. And again, all you do is pump and you're gonna put just a little bit. We're gonna work it through the hair really nice, really smooth. I wanna get some right back here because again, it's gonna be light hold, no shine. Uh, and then I'm gonna take my blow dryer, add a little heat to it. This is our Chi Lava Dryer. If you don't have this in your life, what are you really doing? I know it's 2020, but you gotta, you gotta step your game up. So we have a few settings. Here's our low setting, low heat. I'm gonna come in and I'm actually gonna go back to get it in there because we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with this hair on top. Oh man, while you're doing it, as you're heating it up, I smell that I smell that sweet fragrance. You know what that is? You tell me. It's, it's, it's called it's called oud, man. Yeah. The oud fragrance in these products is unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. And those are some of the other things that I like that I love about this product, or some of the things that's in it, which drew me to it. I wish they would have had them available a little while ago before I didn't have any hair. <laughs> now, now I'm telling you, now the Rendenzel in this product and the Nettle in this product really gives a thicker and dense appearance to the hair. It makes the hair stand up in itself as if it was a cobra and you snuck up on it. What the cobra's gonna do? It's gonna blow up. That's what it does to the hair. It makes the hair stand up in itself to give it a fuller effect. And those are some of the, some of the key ingredients that's in this product, the Rendenzel and the Nettles, excuse me, Nettles. Yeah. And now, as I get to his beard, I'm getting ready to go to the beard. I have the beard oil in my hand, right? Now, in this beard oil, it has jojoba oil and argan oil. And the jojoba that's in the, that's in the beard oil is, gonna, is really good for the skin. It's really good for the skin, all right? And the argan is good for the hair. It's going to really bring back the shine and luster to the hair. It gets into the hair and really saturates the hair and brings back the shine. Those are some of the key ingredients that I love about these products. So it's not just good smelling, good stuff. 
for for your style. It's good for your hair. It's good, it's good for, for your hair. Your skin. Good for it's, your skin. It's good. You know, that's what I tell people. The the Redenzo, different things like that, is gonna help you keep that hair. You know, like you said, if they would have had it before, if they'd have had, had it before, Afro. I'd have been man. I could I could have kept my hair. <laughs> I could have kept my hair. I really want to get that in there real good, and it smells great. It's really light. It's not irritating. Not irritating to the senses at all. And it's really going to bring a shine to that hair. Nice moisture. It's going to keep it soft. It's going to keep it, keep it in line. It's going to get, it, get rid of the frizz and things that are in the hair. It's a great. I love it. I love it. And is that what you're using your beard? Man, can't you see it? Yeah. It makes it look so fresh and so clean. It, it, to, the, to the eyes, it's just like, it, it makes people want to ask, like, man, what do you have on your beard? Yeah, and that's a conversation starter. That's and right. It's also then, you know, I, I get that stuff all the time. Hey, who's your barber? Where do you get your haircut? You know, the other day I was at the shop and, you know, I did a haircut similar to the one you have right there. Oh, yeah. And I had a client walk out and he, he uh, I had a guy call me from another state. He just flew in from the airport and he said, hey, I just saw uh, Chris was his name. I just saw Chris. He was at the store. I just flew in from, uh, I think it was Mississippi. Oh yeah. And I saw you cut his hair. I need to get in your chair. Like that's it. And you know, whether it's on you, whether it's on the client, uh, that that's a, a conversation starter where they say, man, what are you using? Who cuts your hair? And those are, those are things that the, the, ref, uh, the referrals as a, in a business, you know, a lot of people are saying, Hey, uh, you know, 2020 has been a horrible year for me. I tell people all the time and it blows their mind. I say, man, this has been our best year ever. Uh, uh, for, for me personally, the shop is growing, uh, doing all kinds of things. We got voted the best barbershop in Houston uh, by the Houston Chronicle. Uh, I mean, just all kind of great things, man. Oh, yeah. healthy. Uh, thank God, you know, everything's been amazing. But the, that's, that's the other thing is referrals. Oh, yeah. They come in and they say, I want to know what you do or how you get this status or how you get this look because I want to, I, I, I want that for me. Yeah. And that's what, for me, that's what barbering is all about. That's what being a visionary is all about because yeah. I started cutting hair because I had a bad, I had two bad haircuts in one day, right? And so when I started cutting hair, it was because I wanted to look good for me. Yeah, man. And, and so I do the same thing. I want these guys to look good. You should see this guy's suit when he stands up out of the chair in a little <laughs> bit. Uh, when I take off this cape, you're gonna be like, wow, man, look, look at this dude. But it's about, uh, going deeper than just giving them a service and getting them out the chair. Absolutely. Right? And, and going back to what you said, during, during, this, during this COVID time, a lot of people, they're at home, they're on their phones, they're on their laptops, looking for things to buy, looking for different services. They're looking for everything online. So that's where you have to be if you want to be seen. Yeah. So you would think things would slow down, but actually they doubled. The opposite, yeah. They doubled. Exactly. I had to hire more people in my shop because yes. they're, we're, we're, they're banging down the doors, yeah. and which is a good thing. But again, that's what every business does. They have their own influencers. They have different people that, that they have. Uh, I get him to go home and he takes a selfie by himself uh, on his social media and posts it and tags me and different things like that. And all of a sudden that's referral. That's, that's smart business. And you know, as a, as a visionary, you want to be looking forward. You know, absolutely. It doesn't mean we, we still don't pass out cards or still introduce ourselves or, or wear T-shirts that, that are branded uh, for our, our salon or or for for T Man. Uh, you know, I'm looking out in the audience right now, and there's there's all kind of uh, Farouk and T-shirts and, and red boots and different things like that. Uh, but that's a trademark. And and when when your customers come in, uh, more than anything, I want my trademark to be quality. I want it to be like wow. You know what I mean? When, when they walk out of the chair, I want them to feel good about themselves and have that same confidence that I have when I, when I uh, started cutting my own hair for the first time. And so Absolutely. that's what the, the products, quality products that are good for you, like we talked about, and also uh, good for, for styling, that makes a huge difference. Yeah. You know, you, you can't be the best if you don't use the best, right? Absolutely, man, absolutely. In order to be the best, you have to use the best. And I'm telling you, the, the oud fragrance that's in these products, will have the ladies, fellas, everybody, when you pass by, they're gonna be like, man, what, what, what does that smell? It smells so good. Hey, that's me. What is that? It's ooh. Ooh, it's a rare fragrance, man. It's, we call it liquid gold around here. That's right. We call it liquid gold, man. It's, it's amazing, man, it's amazing. 
is something that will be in my arsenal from now on. She man. She man. I am. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, oh yeah. Hey, that's catchy. She man, I am. Are you? <laughs> that's catchy, man. That, that might work. That might work. Hey, you probably need to put that on a shirt, right? Yeah, you need, you need to uh, uh, get a, a, a trademark on that, man. He's, he's constantly coming up. <laughs> but that's what that's what visionaries do. So if you're if you're wanting to find out more, you can go to shows.chi.com and you can follow us, you can look for more content. We just had a lot of great artists. We had Anna Cantu, we had Rocky, you know, we had Mackenzie, we had oh, yeah. Martha, we got Konique. Uh, oh yeah, so honey, be flat. So different styles. Uh, Chi Man is just a branch of the, the, the Farouk and Chi empire. Absolutely. Uh, but we have so many more, and so whether, you know, don't be one-sided, don't just say, hey, I can only do one thing. I can only do, you know, I, I've seen so many people, uh, uh, kind of box themselves in and yeah. then now that things have changed, you know, especially in this time uh, Because things have changed. They haven't grown as, as, a, as a professional, you know, at this time You know, there's people like Anna Cantu that you can come in and watch uh, You know, uh, virtual shows like we're talking about and learn some of these techniques learn some of this color Incorporate it. Uh, for instance with us. You can learn some of these techniques uh, if you're a stylist only doing women's hair and color and cutting you can learn some of these techniques that, that travel over into your salon because all your female clients have men in their life. Yeah. Right? All the, all the men have uh, uh, women in their lives. This is a great way to uh, diversify and grow your business um, so that you can do it. Because, I mean, look, look now. What, one of the things, if, if my guy didn't have this red hair, we would have definitely put some color in it. Right? And we probably still will. Uh, here in the, here in the, in the future, but absolutely, being but, here, he but, will. But yeah, you know, the, the thing is, is like, man, we can put some color over here and different things, and because it's about being a visionary, and there's no limits. If just because it hasn't been done before, doesn't mean you can't do it. Just because it, nobody's ever tried it, doesn't mean it won't work for you. And there's a trial and error sometimes in some of these things. Yeah. But but look at uh, what is that? That 409 spray yeah you know why it's 409 because he failed 408 times and he got it right on the 409 come on Rob. right you see and so so keep trying <laughs> these things keep working at it yeah keep growing keep watching the shows we're gonna keep doing content I, I i do the same thing i'm watching these guys you think we're doing it just to be up here yeah. i'm watching these guys i'm learning how many times do we come to classes how many times do we come to trainings yeah because it, it doesn't mean that we're the best but we're not gonna settle where we're at that's right? one of the great things i love about being here with Chi Man and Chi Period. You have barbers and stylists working together, learning from each other, and that's one of the great combinations that you can get here. I pick it back off the stylist, the stylists pick it back off us. That's, what, that's one, one thing that I love about it, and I continue to love about it, continue as I grow. So we're just gonna pick up, you know, I know we, I know we had some uh, uh, just inspiration right there, but we're gonna pick up on some, on some techniques and different things like this. Here, what I'm doing is just uh, using one of my comb attachments. This is our, our number six, which is comparable to a number two. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're just coming in and touching up some of this area. You see now the, the, the texture spray is kind of coming in, but I'm still able to, to follow through with this. I've sprayed a little, but we're working with it and there's no flakes. There's still a hold and it's getting more position. I personally like cutting, I know we're, we're talking about going into the texture. I personally like cutting the texture when it's dry. Uh, I did do a little point cutting just to get it so it's, it's not blunt on top. But now I'm, I'm seeing some of the shape. Now I can start playing with it and going in and saying, okay, this is what I want to do. This is more of my finished product. Because I had a plan and I had a, a, an idea and I said, you know, I'm going to come in and, and go for it. I'm going to do something totally different, totally outside the box. But uh, once I got to my client, I did, I did a consultation with him. I checked his, his, his head, his scalp, his hair, the length. Again, like I said, I was going to do a rat tail if his hair was long enough in the back, but it's, it wasn't, so I changed it up. And, and it's yeah. okay to change. It's okay to, to say, you know what, I think this looks good. You know, this started because I didn't even cut this part yet. I started trimming around the ear, and I said, you know what, I kind of like that. Let's leave it. Let, let's, let's go. But again, because now we're, we're seeing more of the finished product, we can come in and make sure that we're able to uh, finalize and detail and highlight some of these areas because, I mean, this dude is a ginger, right? He tells you all the time, see that laugh? He tells you all the time, I'm a ginger, a redhead, and, and you know, it's a, it's a trademark form. It's something that, that says, hey, look, it's me. 
So I don't want to take off all this hair. I could, I could do a, a bald fade. I could do something like that. But we want to make sure that we're doing something a little different that, that's eye-catching, that's attention-grabbing. Because again, like we said, these are your billboards right now. You might not be able to go out to every individual and pass out a card and say, hey, how you doing? My name is Rob. I, I do hair. Uh, you know, I, I sell products, different things like that. But this walks and this talks without even saying them. Oh, yeah. Right? Or saying anything. I get, I get a, little, uh, a little hood sometimes. So I... <laughs> uh, uh, speak a little different, but we make it happen. So let's get it rolling. Uh, let's finish up some of these looks because we're just about done. But yeah. Tell them a little bit more about what you got going on over there, man. That texture spray is coming in because two different looks on two different clients, two yeah. different hair types. What's what's going on over there? Yeah. Well, I just hit him with the finisher. The finisher, man. The finisher is going to give him a light, flexible hold. Keeps his hair in place, but it keeps it soft where I can still move it. It's gonna give it a light shine. So when he hits the light, he's gleaming, but he's not overshining. He doesn't look, he doesn't look like he's processed or he's been through, he's been through a, a, a wet, like a wet mop or anything like that. He looks classy. He's ready, he can take photos. The photos won't be glary. He's ready for the camera. These products keep you just right, man, at the peak of excellence. And that's what I love about it. That's what I love about it, man. Whether it's straight, whether it's curly, whether it's flat, I can make it move using the Chi Man products. Like I said, this is the finish, the finish of spray, and I'm at my finished look. I hope you guys can see it. I hope you can appreciate it for what it is. Using the Chi Man products is for any hair type. Doesn't matter. And that's what I love about it, and I'm gonna keep using it. I hope you get some. We're gonna wrap up here in just a second. I'm gonna throw a little bit of this nitty gritty clay in here just for styling. I wanna finish off this style with some nice and make sure it's an all day hold, all day strong. And really, I'm gonna have you sit this way and lean back just a little bit. You can see a lot of that texture in there. You can see it really come out. You know, we have the texture spray in there. Uh, and on top of it, we added some clay just to kind of highlight some of this stuff. So now when he comes in, you're seeing more of the finished product. Let's come in and get some of this down just a little bit right here. But you're seeing a little bit more of it just kind of pop out. And that's what I want to see. That's what, you know, when he walks in the room, I want people to have all eyes on him. And, and we want to keep a lot of his natural look with that red head. And you know what? It's something that, that holds all day. It's something that looks great. Let's take this off real quick. Look at that, man. Okay, man. Stand up okay. And, and, and do a little James Brown form or something, man. Okay. Uh, do, That's what you got? That's yeah, what you're working me, with? Give me, give me a 360 or something. That's what you're working with? Because this is something, guys, like I said, visionary. Thinking outside of the box, something that's going to grow. Uh, also, you know, these are some of the, the products that we use. Uh, hold this for me, man, since you're, since you're, you're a billboard. Uh, this is going to be our, our clay. And this is going to be our uh, sea salt spray, which is a, a texture spray. We're adding some beard oil. You know why? Just because Roger did it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Roger did it. And, and it's like I said, we, we grow from each other. We learn from each other. And we're going to put a little beard oil just to finish them off. Look at that, man. Nice hold. Nice look. And again, stay tuned because shows.chi.com, we have... A lot of great artists coming in. We have Farouk is going to be speaking. We had Lisa talking about some of the products, innovation, technology, different things. We have shoes. We have uh, all kind of things that, that are for sanitation, uh, hand sanitizer, all that. Now look, here, here it is. There's, there's, some, there's some finished looks, walking billboards uh, that smell great, look great, and they're ready to hit the street, right? Yeah, just like this guy. He went from swaggy swagged out to now to the preppy look with the glasses and the tie he's ready for the he's ready for happy hour and he can go back to work out this lunch break he's ready <laughs>